I am back with another video. Valentine's Day just passed and I recently just got engaged. So I thought today's video could be all about love. I even got me a strawberry olipop to get in the girly feminine mood from Valentine's Day. And if you have not tried one, it is so good. What made my fiance different than the rest? First and foremost, the biggest thing that is so different than the three relationships I really tried to make work is how easy it is to just be happy. We're always laughing together. We're always having a good time together. And it just, every morning I wake up and I'm just so happy that I'm with this man and I'm so just so in love with him and I can see it in his eyes that he genuinely feels the same way. Like nothing is being forced. Like I do have moments of insecurity and I did throughout the beginning of our relationship, but I just always, that, oh, that just went away with him. It just is so, it's just so easy. It's just so light and fun and for real, think about it. You don't want to spend your whole life asking someone to do little things to make you happy. They should just do it. You shouldn't have to ask. Sometimes you have to ask for it. If I'm being honest, sometimes you gotta ask for it, but you shouldn't have to spend more time asking for the treatment that you wish to have than you are receiving it. That is just a waste of your time. If you're in a relationship now and you feel like you're constantly having to ask for the certain treatments that you want, whether it's going on a date or quality time, or they spend more time with their friends than you, take it from me and just leave. Like I had the mindset in my previous relationship that it's not always going to be easy. And sometimes you're going to be unhappy. And I can promise you that is not the case. You can be, if you are going to spend your life with another human being, your life better be better with them in it, not worse. One thing that I truly like about my relationship, which I do think is the whole purpose of relationships, is there's a certain balance. Sorry, my dog. George, stop. There's a balance that you both will have. So I'm very soft and um, caring and nurturing, and he's very to the book and like not quite as soft and feminine as I am. To be honest, if he was there wouldn't be a balance. There wouldn't be an energetic balance. Like I do need somebody to tell me that it's okay to speak my mind when I want to speak my mind. Cause that is something I struggled with. And he truly does encourage me to speak my mind. And I think that is a huge thing in a relationship. Um, because sometimes guys I've noticed will make women feel guilty for expressing their feelings. And that, sh don't get me wrong, sometimes we can be a little too emotional, but it's important to be with someone that will hear you out. When you are truly, truly feeling down, you deserve to vocalize it. And sometimes you gotta, we may have to work on how we do that, but they should be able to listen to whatever emotions you have. And that goes back to the energetic balance of like, we are emotional beings, they are supposed to be our stability. And that is something that I can honestly say I do have in the relationship that I'm in now. As a woman who chooses to date men, and if you are attracted to men, it is hard to make a relationship work if the guy is more emotional than you are. Um, because it's their job to be more logical. So if they are reacting off of your emotions, it's really difficult to have that safety. And I feel like that's where a lot of women don't feel safe expressing their feelings and um, saying what's on their mind because they've been manipulated or gaslit to think that what they say is an inconvenience to someone. And I promise you with the right person, you will never be an inconvenience. Just figure out what your values are. What are your non-negotiables? Is it that you wanna have a family one day and be married? They should want that too. Cause it's really hard to change someone's mind and just, wait for them to be on the same page as you because they may never be on the same page as you. And they very well could grow to be on that page, but it's not up to you to train somebody to be on the same page as you because that's fucking exhausting. 
anyway, yeah, your, your values should just align. Like they should, and you should see it every day. You should be living in the values. You shouldn't just be waiting and talking about them. Like you should see them be a good example of what you stand for. You just should be able to celebrate each other's differences and then have those important things as your relationship that holds your relationship together. And the differences also hold each other together. Don't get it twisted. That is what makes you interesting. That's what makes each other grow. You should be able to challenge the way each other thinks or sees a certain topic. I never wanted to watch sports and I still really struggle with it, but every now and then I'll do it for him, you know? And he'll have to go on a few trips that I wanna go on because that's something that's important to me. I would love to travel and I would love to do that more in our life. Another big green flag is you never lose attraction. I used to think that it was normal to not be attracted to somebody anymore because you're just used to them. The truth is when you're in a relationship, you will never lose attraction to the right person. There might be days where you just don't feel like all mushy gushy or like you want to jump their bones. That's completely normal. It's like life happens and that's is we don't just live in lust and I'm not even talking about lust. Like I feel like when you truly love somebody, they will always be attractive to you because it's more than just the superficial attraction. It is an energetic attraction that constantly brings you to them. And if you ever lose attraction, I think it's your mind and your body telling you that you're no longer attracted to this individual. And if that is something you're going through, listen to your body, listen to your mind. You are no longer in alignment with this person. I just got engaged. I don't know if there's ever gonna be a time where we do not feel aligned, but I do know that I respect this man and I feel like that is so important. The second you lose respect, that there's no turning back, but I respect him. I honor him and I truly do hold what he says at a value. I trust him full heartedly. And I think that's what they mean when they say trust is the biggest thing in a relationship. It's not just like trusting that they're not going to be a pig when they go out to the bar with their friends or whatever they decide to do on their Saturday night. Um, it's trusting their word that they're going to say what they mean and do what they say. Like they're the purpose of me making this video today was just to help whoever is watching gain some clarity on if they're in the right path with the right person. And that can be hard for me to decide. Every relationship is different. Every person is different. Um, but I just know that life is just way too short. And I think a lot of times we will find ourselves getting lost in a whirlpool of emotions because we care about someone. But in reality, we're with the wrong person and we're missing out on something so much greater and better that could be on the other side if we just call it quits. So I'm encouraging you all to really reflect on where you stand in your relationship, not to be paranoid. Um, but if you really feel like you're not happy more than you are happy, like that is so big. And coming from a people pleaser, a recovering people pleaser, that you don't need to, you don't deserve to live in misery. And it may not be that person's fault. You just may not be aligned and that's okay. Just trusting the universe, trusting yourself that there's gonna be somebody out there for you. In, there's someone out there for everyone. I truly do believe that. My fiance now was my friend in college and I used to think he was annoying. And then one day in 2020, I looked at him in a different light and it never stopped. And I just don't want people to miss out, miss out on that. Cause I would have, if I would have stayed in my previous relationship before my fiance. Um, but yeah, but it's just because I really wanted love and for anyone watching that wants love and is afraid to leave if you're not happy just, I'm just encouraging you to do what is best for you. You feel it in your gut, trust your gut. All right, I hope I gave, gave you some something positive. I know that could be negative at the ending and maybe not what everyone wants to hear, but 
It's the cold hearted truth. All right, guys, hope to see you soon. Thanks. Bye.